what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome to a brand new video um, today we'll be talking about the s4 mgl or as i call it the scar because in most games it's called like that <laughs> this is the futuristic version uh, so today's the start of a new series that i'll be doing on my channel um, how often i'll be uploading this kind of matters on how much i'll be using a gun but it's a gun review and I'm only doing these episodes when I, once I fully know the gun so I can like fully show which attachments to use and so it actually be like a useful guide for you guys um, for in case you want to use the gun and you're curious what attachments should I use is it worth ranking up is it good um, so yeah let's get right into it um, I think out of all the assault rifles I've used, this might honestly be the best one in the current state of the game. Um, the assault rifles are kind of bad. Uh, the M5, it's kind of like an SMG, works up close but has no range whatsoever. Uh, the AK has a ton of recoil but it's not that bad. And then the burst weapon, it is good but I kind of don't like it. I, I feel very inconsistent with that weapon. Sometimes I've been with it and other times I don't. So. So far, this is my favorite um, assault uh, weapon, and I think it is the best one currently. Um, what is good to know with this gun is that it does 22 damage across all range. So, from 100 meters, you'll be 5 shotting players, and from like 10 meters, you'll be 5 shotting players. It kind of depends on what um, Mac you're using, because there are some oh, attachments again. that will reduce oh, the damage bro. from the weapon, but. I can't Most of the time you'll be 5 shotting uh, players, which is actually really good, that's what makes this gun so consistent. Um, and I wanted to get into the attachments with this gun. So I've pretty much unlocked every single attachment for the weapon. As a side, I have been preferring the Fusion Hollow. Uh, the, the, the K8 Hollow is pretty good as well, um, but I've just been using the Fusion Hollow. I have the iron side as backup and uh, the smart 1.5, uh, but I've mainly been using the fusion hollow. Iron side, I personally like it, but it's kind of a uh, personal thing because I've also heard a lot of people that don't like it. Um, then this is kind of where the trick is because the gun is kind of bad once you start, first start using it. It's a 20 round mag, which makes it very painful to use. Because uh, you got to be accurate with it and you cannot really have too many multiple gunfights So I would suggest using this gun in conquest and not in breakthrough and breakthrough is a little bit more painful to use But once you finally get 330 kills first you unlock the uh, The 30 round Mac, which is uh, this one the standard one uh, you unlock 30 round uh, It reduces the effective range, but it's definitely worth using and then uh, eventually you unlock the high power drum uh, which just re re reduces the reload speed, but 100% worth it. You get 50 rounds instead of 20, but it's going to take you a while to unlock. It's 330 kills, which was kind of a painful grind, but it, but it is worth it. Now, uh, the SCAR has a standard underbell, or it has like a, um, a grenade launcher that's by default. I haven't used it too much. I don't find it too useful. I kind of should mess around a little bit more with it. Uh, but I personally never really use the uh, under barrels. I, by default, I have the factory mounts. Um, the instant error is actually quite good as well. It's definitely worth a try. And then you also have um, armor piece and grenades, which is good for destroying vehicles. So it's it's like definitely worth to uh, to use them. Uh, I just didn't really do it that much. And then for the um, barrel, I don't use the barrel. I have a silencer as backup in case you are in the situations where you quickly want to put up a silencer. You're on a little flank, you don't want anyone to notice. Um, so I always suggest putting a silencer in your barrel, but don't use it as a default one. Um, the problem with this, like, I don't really notice any of these attachments, like the difference. They reduce vertical and then the other one, like, um, increases the horizontal recoil and so on. Um, so I don't really use it. I do have the extended barrel. Don't really use it because it reduces the rate of fire, unfortunately. Um, but it uh, increases the projectile speed. Which, so it's worth if you're on long range gunfights to uh, try this out. But uh, the reduce of rate of fire really makes the gun a lot weaker. Um, so I most of the time switch between a silencer 
or the factory barrel. Um, so these are my attachments. Now um, I have some clips left for you guys uh, to enjoy. Uh, they're live from the stream. Uh, hopefully this guide was a little bit useful. Uh, these are the attachments I would suggest using. Uh, mess around with the gun. Um, enjoy the pain of going through 20 round mag. It is a pain. Uh, but I definitely think it's worth the grind. 330 kills you need with the gun and eventually you'll get the drum mag. Uh, which makes the gun, in my opinion, the best assault rifle in the game at the moment. Um, so yeah, enjoy the rest of the clips. I gotta assist on that. Jesus Christ, man. What are these players doing, dude? Little streak right there.
Some more? That was a little streak, right? more there is more jeez let's go Holy crap, it's busy there. Oh my god. Hello there. Or about that. Yeah. 